Hey, this is Jeremiah with Mashable.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a transparent screen effect using your camera, Photoshop, or GIMP, a tripod, and, uh, yeah, your creative mind. So, uh, for those of you that don't know what this transparent screen is about, just go to Flickr and do a search for a transparent screen. You'll see all these results here. Uh, here's an example where the uh, screen is showing the background back there. So now set up your laptop on your desk. I don't have it perfectly parallel with my camera because the screen's really reflective. Um, I mean, you don't want to do it way off, but uh, yeah, just set it up. Uh, go ahead and put your laptop lid down and set up your background however you want to do it. I'm just going to write something on the blackboard here and uh, leave the lid down, take a picture. Go and lift the lid back up and turn on the screen so that you can, you know, you can differentiate between the, the the plastic part of the laptop and the actual screen and go and take another picture. So now that you took those photos, let's jump into Photoshop and uh, I'm going to grab the two images I took and just bring them in and I'm going to it doesn't matter what order you do this and I'm just going to take one image, I'm going to copy it control C and then paste it into the other one uh, you, you use your select, you just select the uh, whole thing with your box select tool, hit copy, control C, then control V to paste, and uh, let's turn off, okay, yeah, have that on, and then go here to the line select tool, or poly po polygonal lasso tool, and uh, just go into the corner, make a selection, and then go down to the next corner, And the next corner. There we go. Now again, you want to make sure that you are selecting the screen, not the uh, the border of the laptop, not this black plastic part. Now it doesn't have. I mean, you know, you might wander off by a few pixels. It's not going to cause any issues. So. Don't worry if you do. Now, I mean, if you do a major mistake, you might want to start over, but anyway. Okay, so I'm going to copy this selection, Control-C. Excuse me. No, I want to turn off that layer. I want to copy the background layer right here with the laptop down, so I'm going to go Control-C. I'm going to make sure you have the layer selected that you are copying, and then go to File, New, and Control-V to paste. Okay, now you will go here with the uh, Move tool and zoom in. I'm holding down Alt and my, using my scroll wheel to zoom. And we're going to go here to the edge right here and hold down Control. And you see the little gray arrow or the gray pointer. And we're going to click and drag it so that the uh, edge right here of a photo matches up with the edge of our uh, layer. Mm, there we go. And let me see here. Let's go over this one. Do that again. And again. And again. Okay, and then hit the Move tool again to apply. So I just loaded the file on a USB stick and put it on the desktop and created it as a background image. And uh, there you go. You can see it looks like it. You can see through it. It's not. I mean, obviously the colors aren't perfect, but you know it's pretty, pretty neat, pretty nifty. Hope that gives you some ideas for how you can do it yourself. Again, I'm Jeremiah Warren with Mashable.com. Thank you for watching.